The next round is Believe It or Not. In this round, I give the panellists a simple statement. All they have to do is decide whether they think it's true or false. Sean, Johnny and Peter, let's have a look at a clip to illustrate your statistic. <laughs> was from the 1957 B-movie, The Brain from Planet Arus. Your related statistic is as follows. 72% of Americans believe that in a war with creatures from another planet, America would triumph. <laughs> True or false? Independence Day, America won. Yeah. War of the Worlds, America won. Yeah. Planet of the Apes, America didn't win. So I think... If those documentaries are anything to go by, then <laughs> two out of three sounds. I think sounds you know my problem with Independence Day. What? They won with a laptop, yeah? yeah. They managed to hack into the alien computer and bring down the spacecraft. I can't get my laptop to interface with the printer. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with finding a Scart League for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> my problem with War of the Worlds was. There was no way to stop these aliens, and then suddenly they all just get a cold and they die. It's That's the only way you beat them, though, isn't it? Like in the Triffids. It's, they don't use conventional weapons, it's seawater. And I think the way to obviously beat aliens isn't, isn't with, like, normal weapons, is when they come down, they lay on a lovely big buffet, right? It's all dodgy prawns. <laughs> <laughs> Mussels that haven't opened properly. <laughs> Put a bit of chilli in the tiramisu. <laughs> I think it's true. I think it's terrifying, but it's true. I think the thing... Yeah, the sorry, thing Peter, about can that... I just clarify? Aliens are not coming, they're not on their way. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a story. It's like right. it's like a what if. Oh, I see. It seems like one of them, another one of them factoids that points to how dumb Americans are, which I don't have no problem with. Seventy-two percent of Americans believe that they win in a war against an alien race. What it doesn't say is that seventy-two percent of British people believe that a draw would be good enough. <laughs> Sure, what do you think, true or false? So what you're saying is, is, are Americans thick? Yes, they are. Thick as pig shit. Reg? Um, I hate being put in a position to defend America. Um, so, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're saying that it's true, are you, Sean? Sure? Yeah, I think it's true. Well, I can tell you that, in fact, it is false. Oh. Only 16% of Americans think they would win in a war with creatures from another planet. OK, Dave, let's have a look at a clip to illustrate your statistic. That new Superman film looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was the star love dancers there. Here is your related statistic. 55% um, of women say they've asked a man to dance to try and work out if he'd be good in bed. True or false? I think it's false. <laughs> Two words, Michael Flatley. He can dance, he'd be shit in bed, wouldn't he? Why? He never uses his arms, does he? So there'd be no foreplay, then he'd kick the shit out of you, wouldn't he? <laughs> Do you think it's true? Have you ever pulled anyone who's a good dancer? No. But I do think, actually, I do think if they're a good dancer, they can move their hips. Yeah, I reckon it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy, that's so horribly why frightening. You, why do you pull your first, though? <laughs> you dance more like you've, you've been hung on some railings. Right? <laughs> yeah, I do, ladies. <laughs> it's oh. Virgil from Thunderbirds at a party, <laughs> relaxing after they've saved the world. <laughs> I sit down and I'm brilliant. And the second I get up... People think you're allergic to music, don't yeah. they? <laughs> you're so bad. He's got a music allergy! <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs>
what are you going to go for? Um, I think it's true. true I think, I it, well, men can't dance, generally speaking, and women are shit judges of men anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you that the answer is true. Ooh. Yes, 55% of women have asked a man to dance to try and work out if he's good in bed. To be fair, dancing is a good indicator. I tend to dance for about 10 seconds, and then I have a bit of a cry. <laughs>